Hi, this is Matthew Cruz, and I'm reviewing case number 5450-5450. So again, because the software is not typically what we review PET CT scans on, it will open with a large single image of either a CT slice or a PET slice. So I'm going to change to two windows. I want one window to say PET corrected data, another window to be the CT images. The software will fuse them, but the windowing of the PET is too intense. Can't really see anything. So I'll go down to around where the liver is, and then I'll change the PET window so that the liver, again, is sort of this light gray color. Now I can go back to the top of the study and start to review the, the images. Again, we have physiologic uptake in the brain, which is an obligate glucose user, some physiologic uptake in the tonsils, nasopharynx. These things all normally use some glucose. We do start to see some abnormal lymph nodes in the lower neck here. These are pretty intensely hypermetabolic and a little bit enlarged. And as we scroll down through the chest, we're just going to see many additional lymph nodes in the mediastinum here next to the aorta and in the axilla, more so on the right. As we continue down, you see there's a large, intensely hypermetabolic right breast mass here. There's also skin thickening and hypermetabolism of the skin itself. So this is certainly suspicious for a breast cancer with skin involvement, sort of an inflammatory breast cancer appearance. And as we mentioned before, we have lymph nodes involving the bilateral axilla and mediastinum. You'll notice these multiple small foci of radiotracer uptake in the lungs. And if we switch to a lung window, the patient also has pulmonary metastases. Slightly more subtle finding there's some physiologic activity in the bone marrow, but there's also some areas that are clearly more intense. In this lower thoracic vertebral body, there's an intense focus of radiotracer activity. The CT findings for this lesion are pretty subtle, but there is a small lytic lesion in that lower thoracic vertebral body. So this patient also, unfortunately, has bone metastases. Here's the lytic lesion here. So, uh, in summary, this is a case of uh, advanced right breast cancer with skin involvement, mediastinal and axillary lymph nodes, and lung and osseous metastases. That's it. Thanks.